Hey guys, and today I am doing a book review. The book I am doing is this one. I will be doing a mini series of book reviews on Scream Street by Tommy Dumberfund. So I hope you guys enjoy and see you in a minute. Okay. So this book is called Blood of the Witch. So what happens is this um um this owner of Scream Street, Sir Aku Snear, has turned off the blood supply for vampires. So what happens is Luke, Rhesus and Cleo have to try and find a way to turn back on the blood supply before the vampires are dead. So, so what they have to do is they have to go for this cave for the blood supply, but then they find Racist's dad in there trying to get all the blood. So then what happens is these vampire rodents um, just take over Scream Street and infect anybody they find with their vampire blood. Then they then whoever they infect turn into vampires. So Luke, Rhys and Cleo have to find a way to stop them, so they have to find the second relic, the vial of the witch's blood. I really like um, reviewing these books because it just gives me a chance to do something when I'm bored, and I just hope you guys enjoy. So anyway, for this book... Let me just get into a little secret. Razor's negative is actually not a vampire. He's just dyed his hair and made him look like a vampire. Totally not. So, the next book I will be doing is Heart of the Mummy, which is number three. So Sir Otto Sneer is the bad guy, and he has a nephew called Dixon. Dixon can transform into anything, so he's a shapeshifter, and he can do anything. He's, he's ugly. Let me just show you a picture of him and Sir Otto Sneer. That's Sir Otto Sneer. And then here is Dixon. So yeah, I would rate this book, uh, let's say four out of five, because it weren't, it wasn't as good as the first one, because it was just a bit plain, and I hope there's more detail went into this book. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and. See you guys in the next book review. Heart of the Mommy.